Good morning, my wonderful friends. Megas with you on a beautiful day in Asha. And I am so excited about today's message. We're in Asha 3 today. And this is one of the most important out of all the Asha uh, statements and teachings. And I'll tell you why. Because it's going to get us to Asha 4. You have to do Asha 1, 2, and 3 to get to Asha 4. Why is that important? to get to Asha 4 because Asha 4 begins Magi magic. What is Magi magic, my friends? It's it's the miracles of Christ. It's the magic of Zarathustra and the Magi. It's creating a life the way it's meant to be. Unconditional love, peace, joy, protection, power, freedom, all that instinctively we all desire and by birthright are meant to live in, but we have to do something, don't we? And what do we have to do? We have to return. I want you to remember as we're going through Asha 3, the word return. And my friends, by the end of this short, small statement and teaching, you're going to find awakening, salvation, what it means to be born again. All the mystery is going to be revealed. As a matter of fact, it's funny, just yesterday, I was going through my Instagram and one of my friends had a post and it showed the pyramids and aligned with the stars and and in it it said we still don't know what it means and I was thinking oh my god I don't think my wonderful friend follows me on my videos at all uh, because my friends that's the whole reason of the order of the Magi we know what the stars mean. As a matter of fact it was showing Orion's belt over the pyramids my friends Orion's belt represents the Magi, the three Magi who, who followed the star to the Messiah, the Christ, the Savior. You'll remember in the story of Matthew is the, the Magi who brought gold, frankincense, and myrrh and worshipped at the Christ. They followed the star. My friends, the three stars in Orion's belt are the Magi and they point to Sirius, which represents Mary and the Christ, which represents Horus and Isis, which represents Zarathustra and the pure virgin water. My friends, the whole reason for the Order of the Magi is to point to purity, to Vohu Menu, which we call the God mind, the good mind, the Christ mind. And we're reminding people to return to that, my friends, because in truth we come from good spirit and we're made of good spirit. And that's why we must die while we are living. That's what it means to die and be reborn, my friends. We, we do this by realizing you are God's perfect thought. And then uh, the false self goes away. The ego goes away. Maybe the self that you were taught through the matrix religions or, or society or politics, that, that fades away. And, and my friends, it's so important. We're so blessed to live in this age with quantum physics. You know, we now know that particles don't come from particles. When they put it in the accelerator and they crash together, behind the particles is only energy. And when you break that down further, it's only mind. It's only spirit. Spirit makes particles. Spirit and mind makes form and matter. And so whoever is controlling the mind is controlling the form and matter, is controlling the world. And when we return to our true nature, that we come from good spirit, we're made of good spirit, we take back control of our world. My friends, I'm so excited about Asha 3 because it's the triquetra. It's God and man becoming one. It's the trinity. And then we can move on to four, which is stability, which is magi magic, which is order, which is harmony. And that's what we're going to create. You'll find, my friends, the principles of the world the, the God that they give you, the religion that they give you, uh, the idea of politics and society that they give you always leaves you empty inside of you. But my friends, when you have Vohu Menu, 
the highest principle, the God mind, the good mind, the Christ mind, you are always satisfied, my friends, because you're living in your true nature that you're creating from your true self. But it's important to remember what is in your heart, what is on your mind, because that is what is coming to you. We must take every thought captive. My friends, every trouble that we see and experience in this world begins with thinking that is unsupported by the original word. We have to get back to the original word. And, that, and that's why we're going to touch on Asha 13 today, uh, because that gives us the key uh, to magic. That gives us the key to salvation, to, to what we're talking about here in Asha 3. If, if, if the original word is what we must have to be born again, to be awakened, to be saved, we got to know what the original word is. Do you know what the original word is? If, if your whole world is dependent on you knowing what is the original word, if we create with the word that we hold, what we vibrate, we create. My friends, what is that original word? What God are we going to accept into our hearts and create out? What are we returning to? And we're going to show you that right now in Asha 13, which you know is my all-time favorite verse. And at the top of it, I, I wrote Restore. Asha 3, we're talking about returning. Asha 13 is restoring, restoring our, our, our identity, restoring God's identity, restoring the perfect identity of how this world is meant to be. It says the original word is that all good comes from the Creator and no evil comes from Him. My friends, I wish you could just grab, I pray right now that you understand the power of to what was just said right there. And I'll tell you why. Because it goes on to say that when the spiritual world is made straight, the material world comes into order. Remember what we're talking about with quantum physics? Every particle, every form and matter comes from just energy, from mind, from spirit. So what mind are we holding? What vibration, what spirit, what energy are you holding to make your form and matter? And my friends, this is everything right here. If you get this, you've got it all. you got the message of the Magi, and you can move on to work in magic, which we're going to hit in our next video. I'm probably going to make it later today again, Asha 4. And so get excited, my friends. It's powerful. But, but what it's doing is we must restore God's image. Think of what the Matrix religions have taught us that God looks like. So that we mimic that God, right? This God, he, he hates. He gets jealous. He wars. He kills. He kills men, women, and children. We're, we're to fear that God, right? And, and so my friends, as, as I've taught you, we'll never rise above our idea of God. Our highest principle of good, we can't rise above. So we have to restore the image of what God good means. As a kid, you remember being in Sunday school and thinking, these stories aren't good. You, you know, uh, this is not good. I, and we talked about it, the stories of Jephthah in the Bible, that, that he uh, told God that if I'm victorious in war, I'll go home and kill the first person that walks out of my door. And he ended up sacrificing his daughter as a burnt sacrifice. My friends, if a movie nowadays was made of this, you would think that's the worst thing ever. But because it's in their Bible, they think that's good. They think that's God because a book is telling them that. But there's a book written in your heart, my friends, that tells you that is bad, 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 and you know it. And if it was in anyone else's religious book, you would say that is awful. That, those are bad people. But because it's in their book, or your book maybe, you justify it. Well, maybe I just can't understand God's ways. Yes, you can, because God means good, and that good God wrote a book in your heart, and you know what good is. You know what love is, and peace is, and joy is. And whenever you go against it, my friends, it rubs you the wrong way. And if we want to see our world restored... If you want to see your life restored, you can finally stop begging some deity in the sky to come save you, save your family, heal you, heal your land, heal this world, because that don't work. You can't beg your way to salvation. 
My friends, the only way to be saved, to be awakened, to be born again, is to return. Uh, and first we're going to restore God's image. He's all good. He is all love, peace, joy, and he can do none of the evil spirit attributes. He can't hate, war, kill, destroy. That's evil spirit. They're not mixed, my friends. You've got to separate it. And then you're going to start to awaken. You're going to start to align yourself with that energy of the loving Father, the all good God. And you're going to vibrate that and you're going to create that in your life, in your family, in your home, and then in our world, my friends. And that's where the salvation comes. We make our spiritual world right. Our energy, our vibration, and the form and matter comes into order, into harmony, into what we call Asha, my friends, heaven on earth. Today, you can accept Vohumenu, the Christ mind, in to you. How do you do it, Magus? My friends, you restore his image. God is all good. He's been misrepresented as hating, war, and killing. All these awful, evil spirit ideas, my friends. We have to restore his image. He's all good. Then we align our energy with that. We take that pure energy inside of us, my friends. This is Mary and Jesus, Isis and Horus, Zarathustra, the pure virgin water. This is the message of the Magi, my friends. We restore His image. We align our energy with that, en that energy. We take that energy into us. We be that. We be God. We be one with God like the Christ taught. We be unconditional love no matter how anyone else is acting. We be peace no matter what's going on around us. We create the atmosphere. We create form and matter with our energy, my friends. It's quantum science. It's spirituality. And it's powerful. And it's going to bring us to Asha for magic, except that pure God into you today, and then create from that God mind, that Christ mind, and we're going to do magic, my friends, and we're going to change this world back to Asha. I'm so proud of every one of you. If you haven't already, subscribe, hit the like button, and most important, share this, my friends. We're going to change this world back to Asha, and I need every single one of you. Share this with someone today, and know I love you. I love you. I love you.